Hi guys, so we are back again and uh, after attempting to level the bed it became quite clear that there were some problems uh, with the build and the, the main thing I noticed is this bar here uh, was coming up at this end and uh, the reason I really spotted that originally is because when I was levelling the bed uh, this one was you know, relatively tight in the correct position but this one it was so high up it was almost loose um, and then when you look down here you probably can't see it now but it, you know that's tilting up at that end and of course that would be uh, correct <laughs> because this was tilting up now unfortunately you to get to the screws they are just uh, here and here so you do have to have the top bar off and the wiring off and you just need to lift this right the way off and take it off and the key is just loosen this screw here on the other side and you'll notice now if I can get you see that metal bar uh, metal plate at the back the screw is going in it needs to be absolutely flush with this bar you can see now that that bar the plate behind is perfectly flush with this bar now I didn't notice originally when I built it that it wasn't I did try and keep things flush uh, but that made a huge difference uh, to this there's only a little bit out there but now it uh, looks pretty level uh, to me uh, without getting into fine measurements uh, I can't say exactly, um, but I think that's the case. And oh, I mean, that one is pretty close. It's not flush, but it's parallel with the bar. Uh, this all moves quite freely. I'm quite happy with that. Oh, that's an interesting thing. The label's peeling off of there. I haven't actually touched that. Oh dear. Uh, so yeah, anyway, so now I can re-level the bed. Um, whilst researching this, I've also come across all sorts of other problems that it has out of the factory, which seems pretty stupid really. I mean, if, if they've got all these faults, why wouldn't you correct them? Now, I don't know whether you can see, but the gap here is different at the top. There is a bigger gap here than there is there and that bar, the threaded drive, is running out at the top. Not ideal because as this comes down it's getting tighter and tighter as that moves down here, down the bar. So that, the whole thing, has to come out. Um, I would have to measure it but it's probably only a millimeter or two and somebody has made uh, a printed piece you take the two screws out here and the two screws out there that hold it into there and uh, it's got the new printed piece has a built-in washer I'm sorry built-in washer yeah I guess it is a built-in washer but it's a piece that goes down the back of the motor uh, you know like a sheet of about a millimeter thick and that brings the motor out so then that is nice and parallel with the bar I guess you could just put some washers uh, behind it but uh, I suspect it's better to do the sheet of plastic because you want all parts of the uh, the motor to be touching it so this motor can't twist uh, you know in or out and to spaces at the top here wouldn't uh, quite uh, do it so yeah something behind their full height is going to solve that problem so yeah you've got to be very careful when you're assembling this I mean, of course there's nothing you can do about that apart from get it up and running and print the part and take it to bits uh, pretty annoying I mean it's so obvious that that is different to, <laughs> to that why you wouldn't have done that in the factory I don't know I see a lot of complaints about this printer online about oh 
we've got to do this, we've got to do that. And I actually don't mind that because by stripping it apart and modifying things and altering things and fitting different parts, you really learn how uh, these things work and uh, you know get to tweaking things. And I don't mind that uh, at all for the cost. If this was a presser machine at seven eight hundred quid, that might be a you know a different thing. You'd expect that to assemble correctly, and all of the stupid little things that aren't quite right with this would be fixed. Um, the other thing is, a lot of this is going to be changed. I've got other parts for it. The PTFE pipe when it goes into there there's complaints that there is a little movement backwards and forwards which you really don't want and uh, lots of modifications various uh, twin uh, wheel drives and different adapters here and different things here it's um, there's lots that can be changed and uh, no doubt they will do uh, something else I was struggling with the other day was uh, getting you know just working out what's what here and um, I don't like putting cards constantly in and out of fragile uh, slots so I found this adapter uh, on Amazon and you basically just feed that in as if it's a card and then um, we've got that it's a uh, you know full size card uh, so we can uh, use that and that will save any wear and tear on the uh, on the port there. Still haven't quite worked out what the other USB thing is for. I don't know whether you can connect it to a PC. I didn't think you could because you have to read everything off of the uh, SD card. A um, couple of things we have brought uh, to go with this. We've got a uh, PTFE tube cutter and I've got some replacement tube and we'll need to make sure that's cut perfectly flush that's probably not the best finish on that original pipe uh, to be fair so we can trim all of that up uh, not happy with this stupid knob with the flipping line on it like that I did try some others from the guitar but uh, very very slightly different fitting it's a I think it's quarter inch six mil uh, fitting but we'll be changing that for something more appropriate um, and so yeah that's where we are I'm just, I've, now I've got that level we will get that back uh, reassembled and uh, get that bed leveled and uh, hopefully then we'll be ready for our first test print. Uh, as far as the test printing is go is concerned, I again this is all on YouTube and there's loads of guys that are very very knowledgeable and experienced with these. Um, there's a guy on there who has got a file that you can put into the machine and it literally prints out squares, ever larger square squares and he shows you if you can just wipe it and it sticks to the bed you've got the right uh, amount of gap between the print head and the uh, and the bed if it if you can wipe it and it comes off you haven't got the uh, the adjustment quite right so I'll definitely be downloading that and putting it onto a card once this is leveled and uh, giving that a, a test so yeah I'll be back once we have uh, just tried to get everything as much in alignment as possible and uh, we'll get that bed leveled again and uh, away we go hopefully.